Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us for this tips and tricks videos. I know it's been a while. It is uh, Saturday, November 30th, 2019. I wish you all the best with your 2019 light up. Uh, I'm sure many of you are much further ahead than I. Uh, I haven't even gotten anything out in the yard yet. So with uh, today's video being uh, featuring the X scheduler program 2019, dot 64 that in my opinion is the uh, version that I'm just going to stick with because everything works really well for me there um, you may be using a different version and things may look a little different if this is a year two years or three years in the future welcome to the past and this is how we do it in 2019 so before we begin this video is brought to you today by the PPD sequence club when you join the PPD sequence club you get access uh, to huge discounts and member savings uh, where members of the club have already saved this year alone, 2019, $35,000 over all their pixels, their props, their signage, controller builds, their uh, sequences, and more. So check out the link in the video description here to sign up for the PPD Sequence Club, and you can get one awesome sequence each month with your membership, and then on top of that, save a ton of money on all the other stuff that you're about to go buy, purchase, build, and put together for your awesome display next year. Uh, so I want to get into a short and sweet discussion uh, about how to create a quick schedule using X schedule. Uh, I do not use FPP, I use X schedule. Um, for, and I will uh, say, number one, that I do not do anything fancy or crazy with my X schedule. I just run a show. I turn it on at a time. I turn it off at a certain time. I have two different shows last year that I ran at two different times, uh, two different days of the week. So some days it was on, it w some days it had a weekday schedule, some days it had a weekend schedule, and then uh, I had a second show with a second playlist with two different songs on them, two s different sets of songs. So you can get very complicated, but I want to just create a nightly schedule to show you how to do it so that you can get your show running right now ASAP. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going, when you open up X schedule, none of this will be here. This, it'll just say the word playlist, and that's it. It'll just it'll look like this, okay? So I'm just going to expand that so you can see when we add one. Then the second thing you'll notice is down here it says uh, D colon forward slash Dropbox Nutcracker. That is my show directory. If your show directory does not show up down here at the same location, you can navigate to it by clicking File, Select Show Folder, and navigating to wherever, wherever it is and clicking Select Show Folder. Um, when you click OK, it should change down here, and you should also see this controller set up here. Uh, we'll get to this in a second. I'll, I'll briefly explain what that is later. Uh, so on the playlist, all I'm going to do is click on and highlight the word playlist, and I'm going to click Add. So now what we'll do is we'll call this playlist something, ironically, 2019 Show. Okay, then now we're going to need some FSEQ files. Now, what is an FSEQ file? An FSEQ file is a file created by Xlights. It's created whenever you click uh, Render and Save by using the settings here. Now, I have them turned off, but you should have them all pretty much turned on so that it creates your Save FSEQ on Save, and you can render on Save as well. Now, there, there's another way to do this, and I'll... Uh, I'll, I'll say this with uh, uh, warning. You have to babysit the batch render sometimes until everything is set up correctly with your sequences. Batch render does work. Uh, it will create FSEQs, but if there is a new version of the sequence, it'll ask you which sequence you want to open if your backup is newer than your old version. Uh, so it may stall it. So if you have 30 sequences and then you walk away and expect it to, to render, it may stall in the middle. So sometimes you have to babysit the batch render screen. So this is how you create your FSEQs. What I'm going to do now is in the simple playlist here, I'm going to click Add FSEQs. Now, Ironically, I only have one FSEQ left from uh, this summer. I made it accidentally, but I deleted all the others because they get rather big. That's 385 megabytes for one uh, sequence. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, and if you were if you were uh, using your computer right now, you could hold the control key down, and you could select multiple FSEQ files. If you had multiple, uh, I only have one, so I can only add one. I'm going to click Open. And now you can see that the show has added a playlist item. You can also add audio if you like. 
you, and and we can do that here. I'll I'll add three audio tracks. So imagine these are sequences. We'll just say, but that's how you would add in an item into your show. After you've created your show playlist, this is a playlist. We'll click OK. So now what we see is we see a little red uh, disc here. What that means is a thing has changed on our scheduler. That means there is a change, and we're going to save that change, and that helps uh, organize things. Now, now over here, whenever you select the show, you can see the, these are the steps that are in the show. Okay, This is step one, step two, step number three, step number four. You can randomize them. There's some options here on the right-hand side. Always shuffle. Last step first, first step, uh, or last step once only, first step once only. You can select those if you like. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to physically schedule the show to start. So uh, we're going to first off make sure we enable the schedule. We can give this playlist a name. We can call this show a name. We'll call this first show just for the heck of it. Now you can set your start dates. If you don't change them, the show will automatically run between these dates. So you don't feel like you have to change these, but if you want to be specific, it's November 30th, 2019. You can be specific if you want to, but it automatically is set to 2017, and you don't really have to change it if you don't want to. Um, and you can end your show if you want on 12-25-2019. 2019, which is Christmas Day nighttime. Okay, the next part of the schedule, this schedule will run every single night that you check the box for. So X schedule is smart enough to know if it's a Monday through Sunday. Just I just leave all these boxes checked. I do not do anything with this row. And then here is where it gets a little confusing. If you need help with military time, because that's what X schedule uses is military time, uh, this tells you the on time for the show to start. And this tells you the off time for the show to end. Uh, in my part of the world, I'm in uh, southwestern Pennsylvania. We're in the eastern time zone. And right now it is 7.21 p.m. Uh, I, my show typically starts at 5.30. So what I would do is I put the, change this to 17.30 hours, which is 5.30 p.m. And then my off time typically for, and today being a Saturday, it would be a weekend day, and I run my show until 2200, which is was already there. To, I, I run until 2230, which is 1030 p.m. Um, I don't use gracefully interrupt lower, uh, this is this is no need for me, this is advanced. Uh, this is refire frequency, fire once. If you have the loop button checked, the sequence or the show player schedule will continue to loop this sequence for the duration of this time only and on these days here selected. Don't change this. You don't need to change this. This overrides it. So just leave this on loop if you want the show to play over and over again. You can tell it to loop a maximum number of times. So you could say, okay, loop the show five times or ten times. But I'm not going to change it. And I'm not going to explain priority. There's plenty of other videos that you can find out more information on. Again, I'm going to click OK. Now, as you can see here, we scheduled the show to start at 17.30 hours, which was 5.30 p.m. If we go down here, it says 7, 7.23 right now. Uh, X schedule smart enough to know, hey, I should be running right now. So as you can see, we have the first uh, FSEQ is playing. And the next one up for bat, or next one up on the list, is Blue Christmas there. And uh, so I can physically hear my MP3 going in the background. You can't hear it because I don't have, I don't have loudspeakers on right now. But um, suffice to say that the schedule does work, and it's rather simple. You don't have uh, a lot that you have to go through to get things to work. Uh, once again, you can see how this has play loop playlists. That's that loop that we talked about. Make sure you hit the save button anytime you make any changes that you want saved, and you're good to go. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I really hope that uh, uh, things go well for you this season. Um, if you like the video, please hit the big like button down below. Remember to hit the subscribe button as well to get uh, access to all the content as soon as we put it out there. And if you appreciate the work that we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, then consider becoming a Sequence Club member this month and joining us, and that really shows your support for what we do here to help the community out with all the videos that we do put out. So folks, this is Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you in the next video.